Hi, welcome back to my channel too. Uh, the witchy reader. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm out of breath. I just moved around and now I'm out of breath. <laughs> um, so I am here for the uh, February wrap up. I keep wanting to say the wrong month today. I don't know. I'm my mind's not here today. <laughs> um, so. I have a few, so I plan on reading more than I did last month. Not too much. I'm not trying to, uh, I think I can do it this month. Um, last month, at the beginning of the month, I didn't get that much reading done. But this month, I plan on reading, um, a good amount. And I'm excited to actually get it done. A few, there are like three books that I plan on reading that are kind of small, that are only like... 300 maybe a little bit less pages so uh those three i know i can get done pretty fast um which are these books seekers so i want to finish the first arc of seekers uh this month and then i'll start i know i mentioned a, a new video idea i wanted to do some um which is where I talk about underrated series, and I'll talk about the entire series in the video, and f from the first book to the last book, um, and the first, uh, but the first series I have to talk about is going to have to be Seekers, just because I'm a huge fan, as you guys probably already know, I'm a huge fan of Seekers, so because of that, but I did decide to separate Seekers since there are 12 books, and um, there are six books in each arc, is what Aaron Hunter calls it. And so, um, the first arc will be done this month, hopefully. I think I can do it. So, um, I'll probably start, start finally start that series next month and do the first arc. And then that the second part of that video will be, um, well, the first arc is just called Seekers. Even though each book has a diff has their own title, the, like this one's Lost Wilderness. But the second arc is actually called Seekers Return to the Wild. And then all have, uh, each book has a new name. So the first uh, video will be just Seekers, and then the second video will be Seekers Return to the Wild. So I don't know when the second book, will, second book, second video of the Seekers series will be up because I don't know when I'll finish the second series, but it shouldn't take too long. Um, <laughs> but yeah. But I also have a new idea of playing that will be so somewhat similar to that series. Um, so, yeah. Uh, but I'll talk about that in a minute um, when I get to the book that will be part of that series. Uh, but Seekers, I definitely want to read all the rest of the first arc, at least this month. I already started this book, as you could tell. I've only read a chapter so far, but I do plan on finishing this and one other book this weekend. I'm hoping to get a lot of reading done this weekend. Wish me luck. <laughs> um, but I do plan on um, finishing this book this weekend. I think today's Friday. So, either today or tomorrow. Um, probably not today, because it's getting late. But excuse me tomorrow definitely this is the fourth fourth i can't speak today this is the fourth book in the series the last wilderness the fifth book in the series is called fire in the sky and the sixth book is called spirits and stars this book's gonna make me cry it always does i don't i'm not gonna spoil to you why it's gonna make me cry but it's gonna make me cry because it always does um but yeah so I love the series, as you know, and I've reread it so many times. I've discovered, I still remember the first day I discovered this series, no joke. I was in fourth grade and I was at the school library with two of my friends. And when one of them came up to me saying they found a book about bears and showed me where she found it because even back then I was obsessed with bears. Like bears have always been my obsession. <laughs> As you can see, I have another one of these across the room, but that's a brown bear, and it also moves. It moves, so you can see different. I don't know if you can see it since I'm not moving my camera, but if I move it, maybe you can see it. Maybe not. Probably not. Um, but I have like, if you saw, I have so many bears over there, and then back in my library, I have so many bears like everywhere. I have bears everywhere. I I've always been a fan of bears. I've never been much of an animal person. I mean, I have nothing against animals, but I've just never been all. Uh, you know 
that into animals, but with, when it comes to bears, I'm in love with bears. I always have been since, since I was as long as I can remember. So my friend showed me where she found these books, and I obviously read the title because I never buy just off the cover. Like, I don't think I've ever bought a book just because the cover was pretty or was of bears. Like, not even here. I wouldn't even read these books without knowing what it was about because I have to read the synopsis. That's something I have to do before I read a book. For the first time, I have to read the synopsis. So I read the synopsis, and it did sound interesting, and it was about bears, and I was like, I have to. I have to. Like, I have to. So I got the first book. I liked it, so I kept reading, and I just kept loving it as it went on, and I loved it ever, ever since. So I plan on finishing the first arc this month, and then next month, my first video of that series I've been talking about wanting to do about underrated series will be up. And then the second video will be up whenever I finally read uh, the second arc. And then I have no idea which se series I'm going to talk about next in that series. But I do know that uh, I'm going to be talking about... I, I own a lot of underrated series. Like, seriously, that's like 90% of what I read, underrated series. I think the only books I own that aren't underrated... Well, the only series that I own that aren't underrated would be... Uh, Harry Potter and the Grishaverse, because the Grishaverse has gotten really popular since The Shadow and Bone came out, the TV show. But, yeah, so I think those are the only things I own that I, I, I would consider not underrated, because all the other series is I never hear anyone talk about. So, yeah, anyways, I end up talking about secrets a lot longer than I probably should, but I can't help myself. I was reading some of it today, and then I, I was like... Go Seekers. I've gotten very, very mood of it. And yeah. So I'm excited to start this series. And I'm start excited to talk about Seekers for an entire video. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I have done that before. I'm pretty sure there's book reviews for each book. Because I did book reviews when I first started Booktube. I don't view, really do them anymore. Because book, book, book reviews aren't exactly a favorite of mine. But yeah. Um, so... The net so another book that I definitely want to read this month will be Prison Respawn. I'm gonna be buddy reading it with a couple of people, and this is another book I want to read this weekend along with the fourth book in Seekers. I plan on rereading this one as well this weekend. I plan on starting it tomorrow after I finish that book. Well, maybe not right after, like do something else for a few hours, then get back into reading. Um, but yeah. So, um, I'm so excited to read this book. Uh, I mean, I've read it before, obviously, but I love the series and it never gets old. And I'm buddy reading it with a few friends, which is fun. will be my second buddy read. I'm actually doing two right now, but this is, uh, but I'm really excited. Um, I'm especially excited because one of my favorite characters gets introduced to this book, which is Lupin. I'm a huge Lupin fan, and I feel like he's very underrated and deserves a lot more love, so I love him. And I'm so excited to uh, reread this because I get to see Lupin again, and I feel like he got the short end of the stick, and he deserves a lot more love. In the books, in the movies, he didn't get enough, and I don't think he gets enough credit for the fan from the fans either, and he deserves every credit. Um... But yeah, I'm a huge Lupin fan, um, and um, in my wrap-up video, which I just posted, I talked about this new series idea as well that will have to do a lot about Harry Potter since I've been, I've discovered two Harry Potter-ish book uh, YouTubers that I've been watching a lot of, and I've been reading this, and I am also uh, this weekend, ow, I hurt myself when I did that, <laughs> Bessmar, uh, this weekend I'll also be watching the movies because it is Alyssa's birthday on Sunday and um, she hasn't, uh, she's never read the book. She said after she finishes the Grishaverse, which she is, re she's reading Crooked Kingdom now and then after I finish King of Scars Royal Wolf, she'll be reading those as well. She said after that she wants to read uh, Harry Potter because she's never actually read the books but and she hasn't seen the movies since she was really little so she wants to watch them. And um, I'm like, I'm not going to object. Like, you want to watch the movies? I'm bit down for it. <laughs> you want to read the books? I'll gladly lend you my copies. Like, seriously. If I could get anyone who isn't already a hardcore Harry Potter fan into a hardcore Harry Potter fan, I'm going to. <laughs> so, yay. Uh, but, um, 
so yeah, I'm really excited to uh, reread this and reread more about Lupin because Lupin is amazing. And uh, I'm just really happy to reread this. And yeah, so and the buddy read's gonna be a lot of fun. So now I'm also going to be reading King of Scars, which um, is a, my other buddy read with Jessica from Lady Loves Dead Reads. She is, uh, we were supposed to finish this last month, but we ended up prolonging it. I did read the majority of it last month, but we plan on fi finishing it at the beginning, or first half of this month, and the second half of next month, or the second half of this month, we'll be reading Rule of Wolves. And, um, so, wow, this is a big book. How many pages is this? Wow, am I, okay, no. It got to 588. This must be the biggest of the all the Grishaverse books. Uh, I think it is. Like all the other ones, like a lot of the other ones get to 500 as well. I think the Shadow and Bone ones are only 400, and the Six Crows are like almost 500 or barely 500. And then this one, I think, surpasses 500. Barely, I think. And then this one gets almost to 600. This must be the very biggest Grisha verse book. But I'm excited to read it because I'm actually really enjoying this. Um, I think the King of Scars is the uh, least popular of the uh, series. Of the Grisha verse, just because I don't hear people talk about it mu as much. Um, haven't decided if I like it better than Shadow and Bone yet. Um, but uh, I don't like it more than Six of Crows because I'm because after reading Six of Crows, I'm a hardcore la, 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 la. hardcore Six of Crows fan now, which is funny because I wasn't even. I went into that book very hesitant, and not even sure how I was gonna feel about it. But it was part of the Grisha verse, and I wanted to read it, and. I ended up liking it a lot more than I thought I would, and now I'm a hardcore fan of it. But I'm excited to finally finish King of Scars and read Wool Wolves and finish the Grisha verse. And um, I do plan on finishing this month, hopefully, so I, I can pass my copies off to Alyssa, who will probably be done with Crooked Kingdom by then. She's already she just got to like 58% done with the Crooked Kingdom. And yeah, so um. I hope to finish this soon. Hope I'm hoping to finish it next week, and then she can read this while I start re reading this. So yeah, I plan on both kind of big books. This one's really big, and I hope I can finish them both this month. Ah, okay. And then um, the last no, well, it's the last book I know I want to read. There's two other books on this list, but I'm not 100 sure if I'm gonna get to them. Um, but yeah, so this is. I was originally going to read this last month, but that didn't happen, but I plan do definitely want to read this. This month is, uh, it's the only book I own in this series so far. The third book was just uh, released. There's going to be five. I know the author. She's really nice. Um, T.M. Cole. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing your last name wrong. But um, it's called Warriors of Bria. The first book is called La Lost King. It's a self-published book. And um, I'm really excited to read this. I love fantasy. And... Um, this book looks really good, and I'm excited to read it. Um, and yeah, so I can't wait to read it. Um, the other video I, series idea I told you guys about, um, is gonna be ba based off of indies. It'll be similar to the one where I talk about underrated series, and I talk about the entire series. Um, indie, I'm not entirely sure how I'm gonna do it yet, because... Um, the, let's see, there's four, okay, so there's two indie series I've read so far. This month I want to read more indie series, which so far so good, because I'm going to be starting this this month. Um, the two I've already read is, uh, The Shadow Moon Chronicles and, um, uh, Daughter's Ransom. And they both only have three books out of the series so far. I I've already owned and read all the Shadow Realm, Sh Shadow Realm Chronicle books, and then um, A Daughter's Ransom, the third book was released in January, haven't been able to buy it or read it yet, sadly, but I do plan on it soon, um, and I know, um, and then I also have this one book I want to read, uh, I don't have the money for that either, but the author actually sent me a, an art copy so that I can read and review it, which I plan on doing that next month, um, and that's called Malediction. Yeah, I think that's how you pronounce it. 
Um, so I'm excited to read that as well. And if I end up liking it, which I think I will because I like most fantasy, um, I will eventually buy a copy because I like to own the books I read so uh, that I like because I always end up wanting to reread it at some point. Um, so I eventually will buy a copy, but since I can't right now, this is the perfect time to be able to read that. And then the other indie series I want to read besides this one is called Fires of Treason. Second book comes out in June of this year, and um, she I'm also friends with her on Twitter, and she said that um, the there is gonna be there's gonna be three books. I have no idea when the third book is gonna be published, but yeah, but the first book's the only one that's out of that so far. It's a little bit different than what I read. It's still fantasy, but it's historical fantasy. There's not really that much magic or if any magic, um, but I still want to read it because it still does sound interesting and. Um, like I said, I do usually like most fantasy, so I'm excited to read, uh, this one, The Fires of Treason, Treason and Malediction, Malediction, um, my problem with this series is that since all these series, is, and these series is, are not completed, that I want to read or have read, um, uh, I don't know exactly, um, like, if I should do, like, talk about each book independently or just talk about the books I've already read so far and then talk about the other parts of the series once they're published. If you guys have any ideas how I should do this, do that. But I definitely do want to do an Indie Spotlight uh, series of videos on this channel. So if you guys have an idea how I can do that. Honestly, right now, I am leaning a little bit towards, like, kind of like a book review, but I'll make it more fun and just talk about each book separately and um because I do want to shout out more indie books because I'm also an indie author and I definitely want to read more and support more indie authors and um if you guys have not checked out my books yet I hope you do they're available on Amazon you can find them under Johara Harper I just published my fifth book it is the prequel to my Jasmine Press trilogy which is all published I also have The Christmas Light, which is a to totally new series, which will be a duology, the second book I have been working on, and there will be a sequel series, which will also be a duology that follows one of the side characters. So uh, look out for that. Um, I will be talk. I'll be starting another writing vlog for this month, since I said I want to do a reading and writing vlog every month of this year, um, and I'll be talking about that sequel, The Witch of Light a lot on this vlog since that's like the only book I'm really working on right now of mine so um you guys can check out my next vlog and I'll be talking about that a lot my last vlog I talked a little bit about that but mostly about my prequel since I was trying to get it ready for publication and it was just published on the first so um I hope you guys check them out and I hope you enjoy them so uh but yeah so I do definitely want to read more indie books this year and this is first on my list um Besides the two series I've already read, um, I know I'm I'm really want to read the third book on of uh, Daughter's Ransom, but I can't get a copy of it yet, sadly. But um, I'll be reading Malediction next month, and then whenever I can get the third book of that and Fires of Treason, I will be purchasing those. Hopefully, it'll be this year because I really do want to read them this year. Um, but yeah, so if you guys. So I uh, suggest you guys all, you know, support indie authors as well because indie authors can actually be really good. Um, I know, uh, I like I said, I love Shadow Realm Chronicles and The Daughter's Ransom. I rated the books I've read of those so far, five stars, all of them five stars. I really love them. And I have a feeling I'm going to rate this five stars. Um, no promises. <laughs> um... But I think I will rate it five stars. I'm like really anticipating it and I'm really excited for it. I think it's gonna be, um, I think it's gonna be really good. Um, I know I'm gonna be making a prediction video soon and real soon. I wanna do that um, next week. So um, this will probably be on it because like I said, I do think this will be five stars. I hope it is. Um, but I rate most books four or five stars. Very rare do I ever, uh rate books three stars and then even rarer do i rate books one or two stars so 
this book should end up being four or five stars, like, I'll be very surprised if it isn't. But it's fantasy, so I can't go much wrong with that, can I? <laughs> but the other two books I do want to read are Final Girls and Lore. I've talked about them in a few videos because I've been trying to get into them. Um, and it's not that I'm not even liking them. Like, if it was, I would DNF them. Actually, no, I wouldn't because I would try to get a little bit further into them before I DNF them. But, um... Uh, I just haven't been in the mood. I think I might just put these to the side and read them when I finally get in the mood for them because I don't want to force myself to read them and then end up not liking them because I think I will like them once I'm in, actually in the mood for them. So I think that's what I'm going to do. But that is what I'm going to read in the month of February. Please like and subscribe and comment your, uh, what you plan on reading in uh, this month and tell me if you read any of these and how you feel about them. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. And have a good day.